Greetings ladies and gentlemen, I am reviewing these three 14 inch laptops from HP and today it's their premium EliteBook 1040 G7. Now specs on my review unit include the Intel i7-10810U V Pro 6 core CPU. It has ultra high definition integrated graphics only. There's also 16 gigabytes dual channel memory and the Wi-Fi 6 network interface card. These parts are not replaceable, so place your order wisely. Now the replaceable parts do include a single M.2 that houses our half a terabyte NVMe and the XMM modem chip currently installed with 4G LTE, but I suspect 5G could eventually be an option. This is really awesome. Now that optional larger 78 watt hour battery that we have in our review unit was good for about 19 hours of video playback at 50% brightness. Pretty efficient. Real world usage, however, of about eight to 14 hours, depending on the tasks and power settings, more on power settings in a second. Now in a pinch, if you need to get some more power to that battery, just plug in your power supply and you should be able to get an additional 30% in roughly 30 minutes with this larger battery. When it comes to performance, thermals, and noise, HP has cleverly used the Windows performance slider to control the long-term power limits of this six-core CPU. I appreciate this since the Intel CPU can be hard to cool and the options carry over nicely when on battery power for CPU performance or improved battery runtime. Worst case scenario, you'll see short-term thermal throttling, then temps settle around 80 degrees Celsius, fan acoustics tend to cap at around 36 decibels, which is quieter than some gaming laptops idle at, and then skin temperatures well below 40 degrees Celsius under most circumstances on the keyboard deck and on the bottom panel. Build quality and durability, the Elite Books are some of HP's finest in this regard. That 2.9 pound all aluminum chassis has a clean aesthetic and a sturdy build from the chassis flex all the way to its hinge. Now the focus with these is durability within the new work lifestyle many of us are embracing for 2020 and beyond ultimately to better withstand accidental drops that'll compromise the chassis, display, or even failure to boot, as well as liquid spills, ink, crayon, etc. Moving on to usability, let's start with a slick feature called HP Presence Aware. This is a feature that's included with their 10 series Elite Books and it automatically locks the laptop when you leave and resume when you return. With a range of roughly 1.5 meters or five feet, it won't lock should you lean back in your chair and it'll seamlessly authenticate with Windows Hello. I was able to download large files while away from the laptop and it did not lock itself out and stop the download, which was nice. Now HP makes it easy to disable this too, so no registry hacks necessary. I also like having two biometrics for Windows Hello. The IR camera works rapidly, but for those who prefer maximum privacy, activate the electronic shutter and proceed with using the fingerprint reader for laptop access. The Microsoft Glass Windows Precision trackpad is top notch with excellent click symmetry and sound. It's very tight and accurate. Not once did I feel it necessary to connect an external mouse. And the spill resistant keyboard was solid to type on, has zero key wobble, the black keys contrast nicely with the white LED lighting, and it has two-stage brightness. 360 convertible laptops with their touchscreen have that versatility to work like a tablet, along with their optional pen that will charge via USB-C, so you don't have to worry about buying batteries. You know if this type of solution suits you. I don't have a lot of experience with laptops like this, but the pen felt responsive and was more intuitive than I expected. It magnetizes to the left side of the chassis as well. I liked how the hinge is tuned when opening and the subtle magnetizing that occurs when in tablet mode. Anyway, onto the display options. These options start with a 1080p resolution near 100% standard RGB at 400 nits. You can actually opt for the 1000 nit panel and it's actually a cheap upgrade, seriously. Check out the link in the description below. That upgrade was well under $100. There's also a 550 nit 4K display that I suspect has a wider color gamut. Pro tip, however, for outdoor use, look for laptops with brightness above 700 nits. Now this review unit has their base model display. The display availability will vary, so check back often if your preferred solution is not yet available. The webcam is using AI to remove background noise. Check this out. All right, so the 720p webcam and microphone are located at the top of the bezel. This one has an electronic shutter, so at the push of a button, I can disappear. That's pretty nice. Now, I do have the TV running in the background here. My kids are watching some old episodes of Survivor. And 
it's just really not going to pick this up in the background. The AI does a good job of blocking out that ambient sound. As I get closer and closer to it, I can hear this. I can hear this from in my office. The kids earlier today were playing Hungry Hungry Hippo, so watch me make some obnoxious sounds with this game with my foot, all while talking to you. And overall, it does a pretty good job of blocking out those ambient sounds. So this is a very unique feature, and I wish to see this across more laptops in the future. Nice job, HP. Now onto port selection. The left side, we have a USB 3 and the headphone mic combo. There's the SIM card slot and a lock. The right side has two Thunderbolt 3 ports. Both will charge the laptop with the included 65 watt USB-C charger. My charger is slim and has a slick braided cable, but this might be optional. So again, check that link below. There's also HDMI and another USB 3. When asked about an SD card, HP felt that the Mobile Trailblazer user would more likely use their smartphone for video and pictures rather than a full-blown DSLR, making a case for the HP Quick Drop app. Now this transfer option can happen one of two ways, over Wi-Fi or data, but not Bluetooth. It was nice to not need my lightning to USB adapter, but transfer speed via quick drop was about 50% slower versus using the cable. Transfer appeared lossless, however, so that was nice. The Bang & Loafs and Audio has four speakers and sounds fantastic for a laptop this small and even past real-time audio. Check this out. Press F10 for BIOS accessibility. There's plenty of options in here to cater to that business class laptop. By all means, feel free to pause or slow the video down here to see if there's anything in here useful to you. All right, two things I wanna leave you with, things that I would love to know had I been watching a video like this. One, when I review a product such as this 1040G7, I am all about that device and that device only. From the moment I open it, I do everything on it. My Zoom meetings, Skype, work, you name it, I am all about that device. And then after this recording, I'm gonna reset this device, get it ready to get sent back to HP while I work on editing all this together on my laptop, and then I'll send it to YouTube. And that's just how I do things. The device that I'm reviewing is the device that I am all about and that device only. Number two, world's crazy right now, isn't it? I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I have kids that are sitting in front of their Chromebook trying to, to learn, trying to have their teachers teach them third and fifth grade material. Doesn't always work out that well. They come to me or their mother crying and it pulls us away from our attempt to just try to make a buck, right? And that's fine. Everyone's having to deal with that. Lives are fragile right now, right? My main occupation grants me some privileges to get into other people's lives, something I've been doing for almost two decades, something I hope to replace someday, whether that's YouTube or just working for one of these great companies. It's, it's chaos there, it's chaos here, and it's just nice to see a laptop that's not as fragile as the lives that we're having to embrace right now. So hopefully we can all get through these difficult times and HP, nice job on trying to manufacture something that's at least able to cope with the world's current circumstances. That's gonna do it, folks. Hopefully you enjoyed this review and perspective. I'm Bob of All Trades, and I hope to see you in the next video.